Hey, welcome back and in today's video, we have a update in the Mars Argo lawsuit. There are two additional lawsuits. It looks like Poppy is claiming abuse, which sounds like copying again. And Sinclair has a new lawsuit. This is, this is some good tea. Or in my case, some good coffee. So over on the Repsol Twitter, we have Poppy's official statement. I'm going to read this to you. I have never spoken publicly before as Poppy, but I am doing so now because I feel it is as important to address this false accusation. My creative collaborator, Corey Mixter, and I were surprised to learn on TMZ that Brittany Sheets, who performs under the name Mars Argo, filed a lawsuit against us. Ms. Sheets and her attorneys did not contact us before filing the lawsuit to discuss her accusations of copyright infringement and domestic violence, all of which are false. It would appear Ms. Sheets was intent on building publicity around her filing of a complaint and was not interested in our lawyers first having a serious discussion about the merits of her claims. At first, it just seems like she's being mature and she's handling this straightforward. As we read, it becomes repetitive. It has been very painful to read the lawsuit that Miss Sheets filed and to see the word abuser and my own name in the same sentence. Something very few people know is that one of the reasons I work the way I work and why I have made such efforts to conceal my identity is because I have my own history as a survivor of abuse. This legally documented trauma from my past is something I never wanted to make public because I did not want to relive it. Miss Sheets' publicity campaign has made that impossible. We knew there was going to be a statement coming out. We knew that they were not going to be all for it and they were going to try to do anything that they can do. These are smart people. So they're throwing the abuse back at Mars Argo. It does seem like it is a copy. I have known Miss Sheets for years and she is well aware of the anguish I went through. In an attempt to manipulate me psychologically, Miss Sheets is now collaborating with maintaining an ongoing relationship with the exact man who took advantage of me when I was young and vulnerable. While at the same time naming me in a lawsuit with allegations of domestic abuse, it is shameful that Miss Sheets would try to exploit another female artist in this way for personal gain, out of nothing more than bitterness and desperate grab for fame. Miss Sheet claims of stalking, harassment, and abuse directed at Mr. Mixter are preposterous projections of her own actions. My creative partner is blameless, and I am confident this case will be dismissed. I've been talking closely with the infamous whiskey lawyer, Nick Rocada, and he knew that they were going to file to dismiss before this dismiss ever came. It was their only option. I look forward to the coming days when I can speak in greater detail about my personal journey, one that Miss Sheets is well aware of. We appreciate the fans that have stood by us. This is a matter that will be handled swiftly. We will carry on with our plans to release our art, and we will not let this frivolous lawsuit distract us. The truth will set you free. Poppy. Now, I'm not at all surprised about this statement. In fact, I knew that this was kind of the direction that they were going to take in this lawsuit, which is repeating copying of exactly the same things that Mars Argo was saying. We cannot be distracted by this as we knew that this was coming. Additionally, they filed two more lawsuits, and I'm sure by now you've seen those lawsuits. I'm going to show you the, those in greater detail. This is the one seeking uh, protection uh, filed by Corey Michael Mixter. It, you can see it was filed. Legitimate documents. Person from who protection is sought. Full name Joshua Michael Morin. This, this is Joshua Michael Morin. And I know a lot of you guys are like, who is this guy? Josh Moran is also known by Mosh Duran. That's also his Twitter handle. He's an American singer-songwriter. He was the lead singer in bands including Great Big Plains, New York Rivals, and Sun Drones. 
and is best known for co-writing with the hit Bourne single Electric Love. He was formerly friends with Titanic, Sinclair, and Poppy, unfollowing them on social media in 2017. He is believed to be working with Mars Argo on an upcoming project as she follows him on Twitter and he followed her on Instagram in late 2017. He also teased a 2018 project by the name of Mia For Real on the same date that Mars Argo deleted her acting resume using a picture of him with Winston as promo. Now, I wanted to know more about these new lawsuits i wanted to know the legitimacy of these lawsuits so i went behind the scenes to figure out more about it this is public documents you can search these yourselves i will have copies of these on the rips of twitter this is the one between uh Corey michael mixter versus josh michael moran one thing that struck out to me was it says gray michael mixter i wonder if is this a typo or is is his name really gray i, I have no idea but it was filed at the Stanley Moss Courthouse. The filing date uh, is posted. Case type civil harassment, prevention, and general jurisdiction. So he put a restraining order against for protection against Josh Moran. Additionally, with case number that you can too follow as well, Mariah Pereira versus Joshua Michael Moran. She seeks the same kind of uh, jurisdiction, the same kind of protection as you can see. But here's where things get a little weird. On Corey Michael Mixter, or Gray, I guess he's Gray now, on his case, scroll down here, it was denied. It was absolutely denied. Denied. So he did make this against Josh Moran, but it was denied. Now let's check out Poppies. If you scroll down and see proceedings held, and I will provide the links in the description of these, even Mariah's lawsuit, Mariah's case, Mariah's sole thing that she released in her statement was dismissed due to lack of evidence. But then you can see it was held and continued and reissued. So there is a restraining order that was supposedly reissued, but as I am not a lawyer, I am consulting uh, Nick Riketa, uh, he is a lawyer, and I may have him on live stream. I reached out to him with the link and I said, what does this even mean? He said, I'll have to look into it in a bit. And then we're waiting on him to get back to us now. He's gonna know everything about these kind of things and we'll get the information straight to you the exact way that it's supposed to be. Now, Poppy talked about the preposterous claims that Titanic Sinclair has never done anything. But we know that this is false because yesterday I released personal emails that I also will link in the description below where he tried to harass me, myself, and dox me and with information that he would only find on my personal social medias. Additionally, a lot of you have been coming in and sending me tweets and screenshots of you and Titanic Sinclair talking. Now, these screenshots of the, some of the things that is said between you and him are pretty condemning and that have nothing to do with the current lawsuit at all. But I'm interested to know if you yourself have spoken with Titanic Sinclair or any of the other associates with them and you have those screenshots and you feel like you've been wronged, please send them to the Ripzilla Twitter because we will get this stuff out in the open and we will make it known that these preposterous claims are in fact real. Even after the deletion of over 2,000 tweets among other content related to this, this seems like a desperate attempt to hold on to anything that they can. But I'm interested more, you guessed it, in what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and or interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for this like. And as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. I mean, it's clear to me, I can see with my eyes, and I know from personal experience, that uh, these preposterous claims against them are actually legitimate claims. I mean, they filed two, two different separate cases. Both were friggin' demissed. They were dismissed. I mean, <laughs> kind of speaks for itself. But I know that you're repping. If you're not repping, you're Gregan. And how do you become a member of the Rep Squad? All you got to do is subscribe with notifications turned on. Be in the comment section after every single video because I'm going to be there. Greg the Cat's going to be there. And the rest of the Rep Squad community is going to be there.
And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. Many of you have already seen the video where Josh Moran attacks Titanic Sinclair. Now this to me looks like an obvious setup. You can see it's recorded on a phone previous to him ever being there. There is no clear audio indication of exactly what went on. We can only assume that since Moran and Mars Argo were friends, this could be him standing up for Mars Argo, which makes sense since both their court cases that's right, we're in fact denied and dismissed.